Good evening, I get out of that trunk. I'm so glad to be here. How's the kids doing? Oh, Chesley, I'm thinking those kids are probably doing well. I hope you're ready to hear this story. I got a good one. Yes, Chesley, we do. God's Word always has wonderful stories. And, and you know, they're true. They're true stories, and we love to tell them, Chesley, don't we? Oh, yes, I do, and I like to sing, too. All right, are you going to sing your theme song? Yes, yeah, what I'm going to do. This gospel train is chugging a train. Chugging a train, it's chugging a train. This gospel train is chugging a train. Turn to the glory land and get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. All right, Chesley, we can get on this gospel train by serving Jesus. That's right, by serving him, asking him to come into our life and our heart. And just and we want to be like Jesus. And he was good. He was good. He was kind. He was always reaching out to help others. You know, Chesley, he cared about others. It wasn't just about himself. You know, he's a good example. He definitely is, is a great example, and he still is today because we still have his word. We, yes, right, we still have his word, and, and he's in heaven. He is in heaven, yes, and we have the Holy Spirit that's here with us. He is watching over us. You know, Jesus can see us from here. You know, we like little bitty dots. No, we're not like little bitty dots. He can see us very clearly. Just it's so good to have this wonderful Jesus, his Father, the Heavenly Father, all there in heaven, and to thank them the Holy Spirit is here with us. Well, I tell you what, I think, I think we're safe. We are safe with him. Yes, Justin, we love the Word of God that we have, and it tells us all to doubt him because he's wonderful. He is wonderful, and we want to be like him. But Justin, in our story today, and I tell you what, this is something that really gets me. What, is it, what do you mean it really gets you? Well, he just think of what the situation he was in. He, he was blind. He was, there was this man that was blind. When the blind man yelled for Jesus, is the name of our lesson today. When the blind man yelled for Jesus, he shouldn't have yelled any Jesus. Well, Chesley, we're going to find out that he wanted to get Jesus' attention. This is our scripture setting. You, if you want to read about it, it's from in Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. And Jesus, and Jesus he, he, he reached out to people. Jesus always reached out to the people. He cared about them. They didn't have to run and get him. Chesley, he was there wherever wherever he went. He was looking to help people. He wanted them to know that he was there to be a blessing. He, he was the son of God. He, yes, he was the son of God. He was walking here on this earth, but he was going to go live in heaven. And he's going to die thirst. That's right. He was going to, he was, they were going to, before it's over with, they were going to crucify him, going to kill him. And God was going to raise him from the dead. And he lives in heaven forever now. And we can go there too. Yes, you sir, then in love, then. That's right, Justly. So that's what we're talking about today. So Jesus reached out regularly, just to people everywhere. It wasn't just, it was just rich and famous. It wasn't just the rich and famous. It doesn't matter if they're rich, famous, poor, in between. He reached out to people. He was always busy healing people. No, he can heal. He could heal, yes. Many miraculous healings that he did. And he was encouraging people. He, like they was really sad and lonely. That's what he did. He reached out to the sad, to the lonely. And he was always teaching truth. He, he didn't tell a big story. No, he didn't make up lies. He didn't do lies and stuff like that and just make them think that... Uh, he didn't make them think good things, just to make them feel, say things to make them feel good. He was telling the truth. He was right there with them. Yes, he was. He was right there with them. He didn't say, oh, it'd be okay, and walk off. He was there with them, and he would meet their needs. There was no case that was a hopeless case. But that's what, in our story today, this man's case was considered a hopeless case. Duh, here comes Jesus. Yes, here came Jesus. So here we're going to talk about Jesse, Jesus, uh, his disciples, there some of the people there with a big crowd. In fact, they were following him, and they went, came into Jericho. You know, is it beautiful city of palm trees? Yes, it was a beautiful city of palm trees. You're right, Chesley. And here, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a huge crowd was following him, and there was this blind man named Bartimaeus, and he sat by the way, highway side begging. You know, I know he's one of those people to get, get him some money, so he went where the crowd was. He did. He went where the crowd was when he heard a lot of people going by. That's where he wanted to make sure he was because he couldn't get a job. He was blind. That's right. He was blind, couldn't get a job. And so he was depending on people's kindness and goodness. So when a crowd was going by, he had a better opportunity. You know, so there he was. He was on the roadside thinking. There he was. There, that Bible says there about at the highway side begging. And when he heard somebody, he was asking, well, what's all the crowd about? No, oh, what's all this? No, is there a deep party? Is there going to be some big thing in t something big deal in town now? No, of that. Well, they said, it's Jesus of Nazareth. He's, he's, he's passing by. Oh, and when Bartimaeus heard that, no, I 
Jesus heard of him. That's right. He had heard of him. He thought he's that man that heals. Any even can he heal blind? That he, yes, he. I'm sure he'd heard he could heal blind people. In fact, I want to know what can he done you? There was nothing he couldn't heal. And so when Bartimaeus learned that he had healed blind people, no, he didn't cry. Out. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on thee. He was crying out. That's what he was saying. Jesus, thou son of David, your son of mercy, have mercy on me. Oh, and the people would told him to be quiet. What? Be quiet? He needed to be healed. Yes, he needed to be healed. He had the need. They didn't, and they so they want him to be quiet. You know what they should have done? Well, what should they have done, Chesley? They should have gone to Jesus and said, Bartimaeus needs to be healed. Yes, Chesley, that's exactly what they should have done. That would have been a good thing. They could have been helping him. They, they could have. And they could have taken him to them. They could, they, but they didn't. They was just thinking that like, he couldn't be healed. Like, you know, Chesley, why would they think that? You know, they thought that he thought he was impossible. You can't, you can't heal blindness. Chesley, they might not could heal blindness. Uh, Jesus could, Jesus could. But you know, Chesley, they weren't the blind people. And so they just, just thought it didn't matter. It did matter though, didn't it matter? It mattered to Bartimaeus. And it should have mattered, it mattered to Jesus. Yes, it did. You know what, does it? And they was telling him to be quiet. And he said, you're just making noise. Shut up. Oh, Chesley, they, they just wanted him to be quiet. Don't, but don't talk, they said. But he just kept crying out, thou son of David, have mercy on me. No, oh, I know what's going to happen. What's going to happen, Chesley? Jesus is going to hear you. Jesus, the Bible said Jesus stood still. You know why he stood still? Because he heard Bartimaeus. He heard Bartimaeus with his cry for help. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. He gave them a command. And he was the man in charge. That's right. He was the man in charge. And so he commanded and they called the blind man, saying unto him, Oh, everything's okay now. And then all of a sudden they got the just really nicey night. They did. They got really nicey nice because it, ew, they wanted Jesus to think they was the really nice people. Uh, they did. They was, you know, they was kind of uh, thinking it. Faking it, that's right. I didn't want to really say that, Chesley. But, you know, they was just kind of pretending. But all of a sudden now, oh, if Jesus was calling and they could get to go up and do the big deal. Oh, no, it just makes me sick. Oh, Chesley, wait a minute. We don't want to act like that now. I just don't like it. They, they was just faking it. Well, I know they were just kind of faking it. But anyway, Chesley, here's what happened. You know, Bartimaeus, he, he wasn't looking at what they were doing. He was thinking about, Jesus is the one. Jesus, that's who we keep our eyes on. And that's who he was going to talk to, was Jesus. He couldn't see him. Now, he was trying, he was, his eyes were looking, you know, because from where, what he was hearing, where he, he knew where he was. So he was turned in that direction. Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man saying, be of good comfort, rise and call thee. And you know what Bartimaeus did? He jumped up and he went to see Jesus. And he threw, he had an outer garment on and a jacket and might like, and he just, a robe, he just threw that thing off. He went running over there and he thought, this thing is nasty. And he just went running over there to see Jesus. And Jesus said, what will you that I could do for, what can I do for you? And he said, Lord, that I not receive my sight. I'm a blind man. I'm a blind man. I want to, I want to receive my sight. And you know what? It happened. No, oh, it happened. Just like he said, Jesus healed him. That's what happened. Jesus said to him, go your way. Your faith has made you whole. And immediately, the Bible said he received his sight and followed Jesus. Oh! What a great, wonderful miracle. Oh, now he was healed, and he followed Jesus. You know what? That would be so good uh, as Jesus, as he was going along, and then people that might, there might be other blind people there. And when Bartimaeus would see blind people where they would go, and they would be crying out, he could tell them, I once was blind. Oh, let me tell Jesus about you. No, I think he was doing it. I really do. I do, too. I think when he saw a blind person, he said, come on, Jesus is here. Come on. He'll heal you. He he healed me. I used to be blind. I tell you, he was just a wonderful man. Now that he had Jesus and healed him, he could be one of his people that just helped him. He could, he could be a Jesus helper. 
there were people that would have, especially that had known Bartimaeus, thought, this man was blind. I know he's blind. He's been blind for years. Now, now Jesus did a miracle. And they could say, we've seen the miracle. Bartimaeus is a miracle. But it happened when he called out. He, that's right, Chesley. It happened when he called out. He cried out. And he didn't stop. But he cried the more a great deal. So when they were telling him, just be quiet. Because your case is hopeless. They thought, they thought it was hopeless. But he knew and he had faith that Jesus could heal him, and he could, and he did that way. So Jesus said to him, you go your way. Your faith has made you whole. He is neat. That's right. He had faith that Jesus could do it. And he said, your faith has made you whole. He received his sight, followed Jesus. And kids, I want you to know that Jesus wants to hear from you whatever you, your need is. It may not be healing that you need. And it could be, that's right, it could be. It could be other things. It could be maybe a difficult subject you have in school. You're, you need help, Jesus, to help you learn that. You know, there's just so many different things. In, in, in your family, there might be needs. You know, Chesley, Jesus cares. And what is that if you need some shoes? That if you need some shoes, you can pray. And ask if you really need those. Ask Jesus, and he, will, he can help, and he will. He cares about us. So we call out to him. He loves you dearly. He loves you, and he wants to hear from you, and he sends his great love to you. That's what he's done. The Father, Heavenly Father, sent Jesus to earth, and now he's back up in heaven. And you can read all about it in his love letter to us. It's the Bible. I call it like a love letter. You know, we can learn many more things. He has many more things about him and many more needs that he met. Chesley, we just want to realize, though, number one, that Jesus loves us, cares for us, and we can ask him to come into our life and help us to be like him. You know what, and he'll do it? He will do it. And every day, pray to him and tell him how much we love him and tell him we want to be like him. He was always truthful. He was just an honorable person. That's what we want to be, Chesley. We want to be like Jesus. So he sends his great love to us. We can read all about it in his love letter of the Bible. Let's do that. Do you do it? I do it every single day. Read God's word. Just and I talk to him every day and I tell him how much I love him and I want to work for him and be like him. And I'm and I like to do this, Chesley, that you and I we get to tell these stories every Sunday afternoon. Every Sunday afternoon, we want to be here to tell the boys and girls these Bible stories. It, it just kids can listen. Oh, no, Chesley, all ages can listen, and they do. And we appreciate that. But right now, it's time for you to go to bed. And I think you're kind of stalling. You know, you guessed it. Yes, I did guess it because I know how you are. Chesley, and you're winking. I know what? i got girlfriends out there. Well, Chesley, instead of your girlfriends now, you get ready to go to bed. And so tell everybody, and you're flirt I'm flirting. I'm fl yes, I know you're flirting. All right, you're going to bed. We'll see you all next time. Thank you for being with us this Sunday afternoon. You have a blessed rest of the day. We look forward to seeing you next Sunday afternoon. Goodbye.